Hello you crazy awesome dancers! Another donation, another day, another episode! We won't be able to do our normal videos because of your donations. <laughs> Thank you! Today we are going to talk about a request and a video that we overlooked it along the years. How to do a wave in partner work with your partner. Before we start really fast, as always, help us grow this channel. We want to reach 100,000 subscribers. Well, first 50,000, we're almost there. So click on the subscribe button. Let us know in the comment down below what other technique moves you want to learn because as you heard already, we might overlook some moves, some combos, some techniques and so on because there are so many and we have so many videos, we actually forget what we did and what we didn't. Today we are going to learn how to do the bachata body wave. that we can use the body wave in many different situations. Of course, there are many other situations we haven't done, but we didn't want to show you only like the basic one. The technique for the body wave, it's the same. Either you do it alone, in partner work, in different positions, etc. So, we are going to go really fast, a little bit through the body wave by ourselves, but check this video because we already did like a tutorial on how to do it on yourself or doing it alone. How to do the body wave by yourself. First, it's really important to understand how to do it alone and only then dance with your partner. As I always say, before you can dance good with somebody, you have to dance good with yourself. So, we are going to go through the basic explanation to say so and we will divide our body in some parts to say so. We are going to stay like this with our side so you can see the wave a lot better. Let's say the, the shoulders and the chest is the first point to say so. For example, when we do this, we say that we use the chest. Then we are going to go down on our, let's say, abdominal area. So, for example, we go chest, abs, then we are going to push the hips, so the hip area and the knees. For now, we are going to use these four points. How to use the chest. Inhale and push your shoulder blades a little bit forward. Yeah, it's actually just like I would do this. Yeah, just use the shoulder blades. Of course, don't go with your shoulders back. Only use a little bit your shoulder blades to push forward. It's like you have your shoulders on the wall and you push your chest forward. So, chest forward. Then try to go back like you want to do the bridge from the upright position and we go to the belly. Afterwards, we continue that bridge going down, but we want to push the hips forward. So we went down a little bit more. And now the final thing is we are going to bend the knees. It's like, like doing this and in order to not fall down. So if somebody would do this, I would fall. I relax my hip to go in the neutral position. So from here, I relax the knees, boom. It's like I'm sitting on a chair. One more time, the chest going towards the abs, towards the hips and using the knees to go back in the neutral position. When we say neutral position, we mean that the shoulder, it's, with, it's aligned with the hip and maybe the heel of your back uh, foot. It's like this. One important thing when you go with your hips forward, it's very important to tense up and to squeeze a little bit your lower abs. Okay, so we go with the chest, abs, upper abs. Then when I go here with my hips forward, I tense up a little bit my lower abs and then I relax my hip and bend my knees. Going from down to up, we just reverse the order of the elements. So it's like extending the knees, pushing the hips forward, 
pushing the arms, pushing the chest, and just coming back into the neutral position. But as we said, check the tutorial for a more in-depth uh, explanation, because in this lesson we want to focus on the partner work. It's really important for your partner to know how to do a body weight. No matter how good of a leader you are, if she doesn't know the technique, the let's say at least the general idea of how to do a body weight, you won't be able to lead it and she won't be able to follow it and of course do it. When doing a body wave, especially with your partner, you can do it like in a really, really basic position, really basic way. Meaning you can even stay with your feet like parallel like this and just do a wave. Yeah, this is a wave. But of course, dancing bachata, there are many elements that complicate this move. So first, I would recommend not thinking of doing a body wave in bachata, but just doing a body wave in general, because you can do a body wave with your feet like this, yeah, and just do it, boom, yeah. So the idea is to understand the motion and then adapt it to bachata, because usually in bachata, for example, we want to do it on uh, on one. We go like five, six, seven, eight. I tap, maybe I'm closer. I block her knee so she won't go in the basic step, and we go. But both of us usually go. My left forward, her right forward. Usually on one, we go with the leg corresponding forward. If we do it on five, we go with the other foot forward. But this is an element, let's say, specific to bachata. It gives us more stability. Now, the second thing, you can do it like this with your feet forward, but you see we're not on the same line. But we recommend a little bit like, even for me as a guy, when I go forward, I usually um, change the position of my back foot to give me more stability, so it's like in a T, you see? Elena is facing with her left to the left. But it's uh, important to understand that this is not a requirement in order to do the body wave, it's just an additional tip in bachata to give you more support, more stability. Yeah, we don't want to see you doing the body wave like this, always. Like somebody stops you on the street, hey, do a body wave, and you go into this position and do the body wave. No, the body wave can be done in a lot of different positions. And the last thing for the followers, you have to think that the guy is giving you only the signal and you have to do the move, the whole move. He doesn't have to lead you all the way through the move. The first thing that is very important when you are doing a body wave is to prepare your partner. Yeah, and when we say prepare, we are talking about this. The leader should release a little bit the pressure from my back so me as a follower, I can prepare my body. When I say I prepare my body, is not I'm going with my whole body backward, but I'm going with my chest backward. Yeah, because my first move in a body wave would be to go with the chest forward. So in order to go forward, I need to prepare backward. The preparation should be very small, not too big, not bigger than the move itself. Okay, it's very small, just prepare and then start the wave. When doing the body wave, especially in this, let's say, simple way, we are talking about the chest going first forward. But we are not saying that the chest is going first forward like this. Think like it's like an arrow or like a spear, yeah? You, do, you are not throwing the spear like this. Let me get a stick. So imagine that this is a spear. It's not like, you know, when I use the spear, it's not like I throw it like, like this. It's like, like this. No. When I throw the spear, it goes with the tip of the spear. It goes like this and then etc. Now imagine that Elena is the actual spear. I'm not pulling her towards me like this or I don't know, like, like this, okay? Even from the chest, not like this. I try to make her come with her head to say so towards us because there is an exactly, because there is actually a more advanced way of doing a body wave which involves the head. So when we prepare the wave, we do not prepare it in order to do the same move. It's not like a chest pop. This is different. We prepare it in order for her, let's say, to come with her shoulders and then go down. Why am I mentioning this? Because us guys, we have really big problems in using our hands in the proper way. Us leaders, a good exercise is to use our thumbs like this, open your palm, have your uh, fingers close together, so stay like this. When we say that we are doing the preparation, we are saying that you prepare the girl and you go with the thumbs towards you and then push a little bit and then release. Towards you, pull, release. Towards you, pull, release. It's not this, it's not like a chest for like ah, 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 okay? Different signals, different moves. 
It's hard for the leaders to understand how to use the wrist, the hand, but think like you're doing, I don't know, Tai Chi, yeah? Towards me, towards her, towards me, towards her. And this is the thing that you need to understand. If you understand this and the follower knows how to do a body wave, it's done. Also, it's important for the followers to recognize the different signals, okay? So if the guy is doing this with his hands, I'm not going like straight forward. I will have to go with his hands. So if I feel a little bit pressure like in the upper side, I will go with my upper side first and then I change to my chest and continue the way. And the last tip to make her understand really well what you want to do is also to make her understand that the action starts, let's say, at her shoulder level and then continues down. So we have to do this signal a little bit going from this level maybe to this level. So she can understand, okay, it's a wave because I can do this, but staying like here up, it's gonna be hard for her, you see, because my elbows are up and it's not allowing her to do the wave at all. So doing with Elena right now, I'm going to start like this and just gently push down. I will use my pinky. Yeah, because from here, from the index finger until the pinky, you see it's this level to say so. Doing this, she will understand, okay, it's a wave. He's rolling his hand on my back, so it's a wave. Standing like this, yeah, so it's from the index finger. I will use it like this so you can see. It's the index. I release the index and press with the pinky. Boom and then I relax the pinky. But of course, guys, especially in the beginning, especially the beginner guys, understand to do this with their fingers. No, have your fingers close together and it's like you're rolling on a table, your, uh, your hand like this, your palm. It's not like doing this, it's this. It's like you're caressing. The result is this. From the index to the pinky. From the index to the pinky. You see there are two levels. This level and this level. Of course, this is like the body wave, like standing up, you know, just going from the body. We can go in a body roll. A body roll is like a double body wave, triple, quadruple, and etc. It's this. We do this continuously, yeah? So this is just repeating the exact same signal. Now, in order to do a body wave from up to down, we need to change a little bit the level. So the guy has to give an extra signal. And that extra signal will be guys like pushing the, but a little, not, just a little bit downward. So it's, let's say uh, we are mimicking right now, yeah? I am doing, let's say the exact same move here. I'm doing it up, yeah? So it's here, you see? But now I'm going to do this and when I relax, I go down. Exactly. So, of course, we exaggerate. So, one more time. It's like this and down. You see my hands go from here to here. Of course, we're exaggerating now, but when you're creating that connection, when you're dancing together, just doing it a little bit will make your follower understand. So, for example, we are here, yeah? So, let's do the first one, just here from the index to the pinky, okay? Now, when I say the pinky, you will see I will relax and go down a little bit. I will exaggerate a little bit. So, from up to down. You see, we went from here to here. This allows us, remember from the first thing that we showed you, we need to bend the knees. That means changing the levels. So one more time, a basic wave from up to down and then we go from down to up. Do the first signal, when you begin to release, go down a little bit, yeah? And you can do it just by bending the knees, guys. And of course, if you are a little bit lazy, you just can do it from the hands, boom. But I recommend you going down a little bit with her because it will be more aesthetically pleasing and more comfortable for your followers. So, one more time, and we're down. Now, how about going up? When we go up from that down position, I have, or I prefer, uh, of doing it in two ways. One way is more for, let's say, beginner intermediate, and the other way is for everybody else. Now, what am I talking about? In the first example, like for beginner intermediate, I will move my left hand, when we release, I will move it down. And it's like, I will caress her body wave to say so. Let's exaggerate. It's like this, and when she goes down, it's like you see, I caress until I uh, stop here on the bone, on the backbone or on the belt. Guys? On the belt. No. 
one more time and I stop here you see my hand is a little bit to the side it's not back it's here because I can push I can pull so we are down I just pull a little bit and then we go up moving further because we want to get into that final level of leading we are going to make an intermediate progression so now we used only our left hand only my left hand in order to come up but now we are going to use also our right think like this my left will pull my right will release a little bit yes because the, in this way the girl will under, understand to okay go with the hips forward and we let her naturally balance herself we do the wave go here now when i pull with my left i will release with my right but i exaggerate it now a little bit don't go like <coughs> let her four it's just a little we go one two three four five six and i go up and the last level imagine a castle and it has that bridge you know like <laughs> we do that with the girl because us as humans we have that auto balance mode on if we go like this we try to balance ourselves and it's the same here when we do the wave and we go we want to balance ourselves and go up so if i unbalance her in a certain way her body will automatically respond and help me do that wave from down to up but i say again this is for more advanced level yeah you don't you you cannot jump in this from the first time you will hurt your follow standing from this side we are going to show you one two three four and now exaggerating if i let her down i come up yeah it's like that bridge you saw going down and up for the followers for this variation it's very important to know the technique when the guy is releasing you backward down you need to balance with your hips and push them diagonally forward yeah if i stay with my hips here and the guy is releasing me i will go backward and fall remember it's like michael jackson like oh so guys you here if you just go down da -da 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 -da, and you release but when i say release you see it's like i hold and back she will help me and come back up the last final tip is this always adapt to your partner either your follower or your leader because followers you adapt to the leader and us leaders to followers always adapt maybe a follower puts a little bit more tension you as a leader put a little bit more tension maybe she doesn't put so much tension you adapt a little bit you hold her a little bit more go like this like this like this like this there are an infinite variations to a wave you need to learn how to adapt to the specificity i hope this is the word of your partner and one last tip for the followers, for the ladies, when you come up from that wave, be careful what you are doing with your head, okay? Try to avoid getting into this position. The head should be the last one to come in the neutral position. So here, when I go backward, I raise my chest. And as you can see, I have my chin up. I don't go here. It's not pretty and it will put a lot of pressure on your neck. It's really important to understand that no matter how many techniques or information we give you, practice overcomes everything. So just take your time, practice your waves alone, yeah? Then maybe find a partner to try some, hey, let's just try 10 waves today. And they may be like, <laughs> but maybe like the Tenth wave will be something like maybe just like uh, like this. It's something, okay? So practice a lot. This will help you the most. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and click the like button. And let us know in the comment section down below if you want more sensual bachata stuff. See you in the next video. And thank you again for watching. <laughs>